and welcome to Odd Man Out. I'm Pastor Tim. I'm glad you are here with us today for another devotion. Uh, our devotion today is entitled Leaving a Legacy, uh, and the main Bible verse is from Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Jesus said, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. There's a story about a road construction foreman who was killed in an accident on the on site. Uh, and the love for this man from his family and his friends and his co-workers in this community uh, resulted in an overwhelming sense of loss. And at this man's funeral, the message was quite clear uh, that this gentleman, whose name was Tim, just ironically, uh, touched many lives in a way uh, that was unique to to just anybody else in that community. And so many people were going to miss his kindness, his sense of humor, and his enthusiasm, and just general love for life. Uh, the story got uh, me thinking about the life of King Jehoram. Now, you probably don't know who that is, but he's uh, basically just a little mentioned king uh, from uh, Israel in Second Chronicles chapter 21. It's not a book we read or reference very often. But what a contrast that this king to the life of Tim. Uh, to, because to solidify his power, Jehoram killed his own brothers and other leaders. He had a reign of terror. That's how he ruled. Uh, and so when he led Judah into idol worship, Judah was the country he was king over, uh, the record tells us that when he passed away, no one regretted it. No one. He is forever commemorated in the Bible as an evil man and a self-centered leader who no one mourned when he died. Um, Jesus was also a king. He still is a king. But he came to earth to be a servant. As he says, even the Son of Man, him, did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And so today, Jesus continues to teach us that life isn't just about ourselves. It's not a self-centered thing. It's not get all we can at all costs, uh, even if we have to, no one will mourn at our funeral when we die. That's, that's not the purpose of of our life. Our life is really about Jesus, the one who longs to wrap his strong, loving arms, forgiving arms, around anyone who turns to him for salvation, including you and me, so that in the, in the time of our death, people will probably mourn us, I'm assuming, and Jesus will mourn our death because death isn't supposed to happen. But the good news in Jesus is that we will not remain dead forever. There is a resurrection of the dead where we get to live with Jesus forever. And there we will get to celebrate the eternal life that he will bring us. We pray. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, help us to leave a legacy of faith and trust in you. May we not be so caught up in the power and riches and glory of this world that we lose all our friends and all our families and even our faith in you. Lord, keep us strong and centered in your Son, Jesus Christ, so that we may, upon our own resurrection, live forever and see you face to face. Amen. That's it for the day. Keep being odd, and we will see you again real soon. Bye.